Hello viewers, this is Vincent Amaya with uh, Industrial Engineering 190G. Uh, this is week four, and this week we're going to be talking about Google. Um, today, specifically, I want to talk about Google's uh, potential acquisition of Motorola, and um, I want to talk about this term that's been going around. Um, you're, you probably come across it, and you will definitely come across it as we continue to um, go through these topics on um, these, mad, uh, these smartphone patent lawsuits. So um, that, that term is RAM. And uh, just so we know, it's the Fair, Reasonable, and Non-Discriminatory Licensing Agreement. Okay? Um, so Google right now is still in talks with Motorola. Um, it, it's actually pretty set that they're going to acquire Motorola. Um, and one of the, one of the key... Um, one of the key things going on right now that they're trying to clear up is what Google's going to do with the patents that they acquire from Motorola once once this this all occurs. And um, the idea is that everyone wants everyone wants to make sure that when Google does acquire these patents that they that they um, that they they adhere to the brand agreements that were already in place with Motorola before. Uh, they were acquired by before they are acquired by Google, and um, so Google's saying yes that of course that they're gonna they're going to go ahead and and meet the oblig these obligations that they're gonna go ahead and um, honor honor these obligations uh, and and um, according to Florian Weller, uh, the patent expert, he um, he says that well Google really doesn't have a choice they have to they have to go ahead and honor these obligations. Um, so, Google saying that they're going to do it is just kind of patting themselves on the back about it. Uh, so, let's talk about what FRAND is. Um, as we said before, it's the fair, reasonable, and non-discriminatory licensing. Um, it's like an agreement between um, standard bodies. Uh, so, we're basically talking about these companies with interest in these um in te these new technologies. And the idea is that in these new technologies like 3G. There are so many patents and and so much already behind the technology that in order to even move forward with it, they they have to have all these these patents, these the uh, like um, they have to have the ability to use these patents. So they're trying to get together with all these companies that have the patents already, and they're trying to work out what they're calling reasonable um, terms on on whether um on um. How much they're paying to use the patents, and how much, um, and just so that it's all accessible to everybody. Um, so accessibility is really the idea, and the reason why this is so important is that we're finding a lot of companies are using this um, this idea of brand in in litigation. They're they're using it as a defense in litigation, specifically Apple, saying that you know, well, these companies are not adhering to to the reasonable terms that we that we said we would that we would go ahead and and follow through when we all got together and performed this brand organization. Um, so one of the one so the big the big technology in question right now is what is called the UMTS, which is um, Universal sorry, Universal Mobile Telecommunication Systems. And um, that's the idea behind the technology behind 3G. So we're gonna find that it's really important that that all this that all these companies really just come together and come out with some with some fair agreements. Um, that's really it so far. What's going on? Um, Google's we're absolutely pretty well pretty certain that Google's gonna go ahead and acquire Motorola. So what's gonna happen now is um, what problems? Is Google gonna acquire when they actually take over Motorola, and um, how are they gonna go ahead and um, deal with these lawsuits, according to Fran? So we'll see how that goes. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you next week.